Hi everybody, it's Tristan here from the EdTech Teacher and welcome to another one of our tutorial videos. In this video series, we're going to have a look at the power and functionality of Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams might be a new resource and tool that you have picked up and run with this year as a result of COVID-19, but there's so many fantastic aspects of Microsoft Teams that you might not be aware about. So we're going to show you how you can use and access some of those in these videos. Today, we're going to have a look at how we can add a tab to our team page so that our students can access a particular resource or website or web link that they might need in their ability to be able to use Microsoft Teams effectively. So at the moment, I'm in my team homepage. Up the top here, you can see some tabs already. These tabs come with Microsoft Teams and we can't do anything with these. So don't fret about those they'll be there for you all the time. We have our post tab, we have our files tab, and we've got some other tabs, class notebook, assignments, and grades. Next to these, you'll notice that there is a plus sign that says add a tab. When we click on that, it's going to take us to the add a tab page where we can add a whole range of other tabs for our students to access and use. Most of these tabs are Microsoft related products. So you can add an Excel document, a form, a list. You can add another OneNote, a PowerPoint, a Word document, all kinds of Microsoft products that you can add as additional tabs from your team. There's also a whole range of other tabs for external resources and applications that you might be able to add. Just be aware that sometimes these are managed by your tenant or your domain your organization, so you might not have access to all of these different applications within your added tab functionality. But that doesn't mean that you can't go in and use that particular resource and add it as a tab. The best way around it is to click on website and add it as a brand new website tab. So let's say we want to go to YouTube. Let's call it YouTube and then we'll go and type in our address. I'm not sure why it's saying it's not a valid URL. Oh, I can see why it's not a valid URL because I need to make sure that I put in that to show that it is trustworthy. I'm going to click save and it is going to post that and add that as a new tab on my channel. Now, obviously, your students might not be able to access something like YouTube. So just make sure that when you're adding tabs, they're tabs that are relevant and applicable to your students. Let's go and add another tab for another website. As you can see, the website button here has moved to the front of the list because it's the one that we've recently used. So I might add the EdTech Teacher website. So I'm going to make sure that I put in the correct address and then click save and it's going to add it to my page as a new tab. How easy is that? Adding tabs that you require your students or colleagues to be able to access just by clicking this little plus sign here and then deciding which of these different apps is the most applicable and relevant for your team. Another really great piece of functionality from Microsoft Teams. Anyway, I'm Tristan from the EdTech Teacher. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Microsoft Teams how-to guides coming soon.